<laughs> Yo, we talking about groceries on FBA. Yo, easy. Yeah. J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? Hey everybody, Sean Mayo here, and we've created a brand new uh, category sourcing list to be used with Tactical Arbitrage uh, for Fries.com. Uh, before I get into that, uh, I'm going to show you how to build a, uh, a list or find whatever categories uh, you're interested in sourcing uh, on Fries.com with Tactical Arbitrage. Uh, so, of course, if you uh, want to skip searching uh, on any site, uh, we do make lists. I make them, and many other third party um, make a uh, premium bulk list to be used with tactical arbitrage. Uh, so, when you go to your search page, you can come down here to premium bulk lists, and it's going to show you um, a list of all the ones that are available for the US, the UK, uh, there's one in Canada, and I've also made a complete list of the Amazon flips. And we can even create uh, custom advanced user um, settings so you can make your own um, site that nobody else may have access to. Uh, and all those links are in here. These are not all created by me. Uh, there's many, um, there's several people who are uh, creating them. So uh, these aren't all my lists, but uh, uh, I do make quite a few of them and uh, I can help you with any uh, that you might have a problem with. Uh, so if we go over here, um, we're going to go over to fries.com, um, and it's going to show you some examples. Like every page, it'll show you an example. And the important information you need here is uh, to look at the example, because you're going to have to have uh, whatever you put in for your category uh, to match that. And the other important piece of information is the 25 products per page. Uh, so you need to know how many products per page because when you're looking and figuring out how many pages to enter for your start page and your end page, you're going to have to um, make sure it matches on the site with uh, the number that you're putting in or you're going to have way too many pages or not enough pages. And if you have too many pages, uh, all that's going to happen is it's going to go look at that page, it's going to time out and go to the next page and the next page and the next page and it's just going to waste a lot of your sourcing time. Uh, so here we are over at Fry's, so uh, what we can do is just look at um, look at the site, figure out what categories we want and we'll um, go from there, figure out what we want to uh, source with. So to see all the main categories, uh, just go. There's nothing that says categories, but you can go up to where it says "Cool Stuff We Sell," uh, and you can select whatever it is you're interested in, and then look at subcategories. Uh, so if we look uh, at video games, we can go to video games, and uh, then we can select whatever subcategory we want. So uh, let's look at uh, video games, and then the actual games. Uh, now there are. Uh, we always want to make sure we have the all products highlighted. We want to see uh, how many um, products there are. There's 1,384. And uh, with this site, uh, as you can see here, if you go to um, the jump to, uh, this is the only way to see how many pages. Usually on most sites, you can either at the top or the bottom, it's going to show you. It'll show you one, two, three, four, five, but you know it's going to say of whatever it is. And here I believe it's 56. Uh, so there's 56 pages. The only way to see that is by going to the jump to and entering 56. And if we scroll back up to the top, we can see that uh, it's already on the view of 25 per page. So if we go uh, back over here, we see this is also 25 per page. So that's what you want. You want it to match. So we're going to enter 56 for the last page. And we go back up here, and we're going to have to pull, uh, uh, pull the link of what we need. 
So we're going to go up into the uh, address bar and we're going to copy that uh, over into uh, the Tactical Arbitrage search page and we can just paste it here and uh, you would set uh, whatever filters you are um, you want to use and um, for us we usually look at about 150,000 or less because you want to go higher uh, than you want and also go lower than you want for um, ROI. So we usually like to be at 60 or 70 percent ROI and under 100,000 in rank. So we're going to go higher and we're going to go uh, a little lower for the ROI because if something is, um, you know, 58, 59 percent, then, uh, you know, we might not want to miss that, but we want to be able to be the one to make the decision. Um, so we always give it a little bit of leeway going in both directions. Uh, and of course, uh, I would always suggest you choose this option, always show Amazon out of stock, uh, and uh, just click Submit. And as you can see, it's now doing a, uh, a search. So now if we wanted to create a, um, a bulk list, so when this one gets completed, it can move on to the next one, the next one, and uh, currently it'll run for up to 24 hours. Uh, so if we click on, uh, I'm going to end this, of course. And then we'll have to select fries again. If you click on use bulk, uh, you can uh, then click upload new file. And there's going to be a template here. Uh, so you can do uh, multiple uh, domains for a search, or you can do... A, um, a single domain. So I'm going to do a single domain. I've made many videos showing you how to do uh, the multiple. So we'll just click here for the example. Uh, even as many as we've made, uh, I always open the example file to start from. So if we go back over here, uh, we can pull our link. And we know that we're using 56 pages, so we can just paste this in the category. And we start at page 1, and we're going to end on page 56. And then you can do this as many times as you want. You create uh, as many uh, lines as you want to use, uh, up to uh, 400. So when you're doing uh, a store search, you can do up to 400 line so what it's going to do is it's going to search the first category uh, from your start page to your your ending page and when that one gets completed it's going to move on to the next one and move on to the next and the next and the next until uh, either your whole list is done or you uh, hit 24 hours and then it will end uh, so as an alternative we do create um, many uh, lists which what this is is a bulk list. We've uh, created software that uh, has gone to uh, fries.com and many of the other ones that you uh, you can see by clicking on that premium list. But with fries, uh, we've uh, created a list that has every category, um, the full link that you would use in the category, the name, um, and the full path of the name, as well as how many items are in it. You can see. Um, they have up to 40,000 items in one subcategory, and that's going to equal uh, this many pages uh, in tactical arbitrage. Uh, so, uh, of course, this isn't a list that you can upload, so we also create a uh, bulk list that um, is very close to what you would upload. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, there's only 371 uh, or 371 lines, which is 370 uh, different categories for uh, for fries. So you'll be able to upload this whole list. So if you wanted to do the whole site, you could uh, just come over here to line D um, and just delete that column. If it has over a thousand, or if it has over 400, you'll have to shorten it uh, to a maximum of 400 lines before you upload it, or uh, it, the list won't work. Uh, so once we do that, we're, we need to save it.
And if you're on a PC, you always want to save as CSV or CSV uh, MS-DOS. Never save in the Macintosh version or it won't work. It will upload and then uh, it will just disappear because uh, it didn't recognize the file. Uh, so if you're on a Mac, uh, you can't save it in the um, in the regular CSV uh, format because that'll save it in the Macintosh format. So you'll have a MS-DOS version or you'll have one uh, labeled CSV Windows. Uh, you need to save in one of those formats for it to work. So once we've done that, we can come back over here or uh, you can upload your own list, of course. And uh, we're going to click on Upload New File. We're going to browse to that file. And we just click on Upload. And at this point, it's going to process it and you're going to see the name of your file, which is this test underscore and then a number. Uh, and then we can just click on use last filter settings. Uh, and when you upload a bulk file, you still have to select your store name unless you're using a multi-store bulk file, which has each store name for each line. Uh, so uh, once you've selected that, uploaded your file, and set your filter settings, uh, you can just click on submit and it's going to start the list. Uh, now as you can see here, it's loading. Uh, the first one is from page 1 to 621, which is a big 40,000 item list. Uh, if we click on bulk categories, it's going to show us the list of all the categories that it's going to do. Um, of course, this list probably won't finish within 24 hours. As you can see, it has 370 categories it's doing. You can click on that bulk category again to make it disappear. Uh, and it's doing the search uh, right now and it will continue until uh, it works its way through the 40 plus thousand items and uh, then it will move on to the next one in the list. Uh, and that's about all there is to, uh, to uh, do fries. Uh, thanks a lot.